coming back a little bit. We got Charlie Gasparino here. We got Colin McShane here and the Wall Street Journal's Shelby Holiday. Shelby, um, it, it's, a, it's more than a drip, 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 but a steady flow of companies that are doing this sort yep. of thing. Uh, and they all peg it to what's happening out there, uh, either directly or indirectly, that without these tax cuts, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. What do you think of it? Well, they do have more cash, so they, they, they can do this. But also the labor market is tightening. They're already under pressure to boost wages, to treat employees better, to lure the top talent. So it makes perfect sense. And in some ways, it's sort of a win-win with these businesses and the Trump administration because, yes, their tax bills are a lot lower, but also... Businesses like to be in the president's good graces. And yeah, so it it's, doesn't, it's it doesn't kind hurt. of an easy win-win. You know, um, uh, one of the things that, that's interesting when you look at this back and forth is how uh, it unexpected is for a lot of workers at these companies. And when they hear about it, sometimes I, I, I saw one story where a Home Depot worker was just hearing about it. Hadn't, right. hadn't known. Must not have watched Fox Business. Uh, <laughs> and was like overjoyed. Right. Imagine how happy Gasparino will be when he finds Absolutely. out about his bonus. Absolutely. <laughs> like, like I 50, could see him blowing it all over like, you know, the Olive Garden. Our 21st century <laughs> $50 bonus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't know this was coming. Um, you know, the Fiat Chrysler, the president's going to meet this hold evening. On, hold on one second. I believe it. Uh, no, Mr. Murdoch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He did not mean that. He, okay. Go ahead. You know, the, Oh, so you, 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 you tried to set the stage for these things. Shelby, right? yes, I mean, hey, hey, first you, on the air. If you built it, you're down. really working for oh, that yeah, bonus. There, yeah. there were no ladies on the oh, set. Oh, really? <laughs> if we had, a, if we had a kangaroo court, you could put the yeah, money in the exactly. jar. The, the Fiat, so the president meets with European CEOs, right, this evening in, That's right. in Davos. That Fiat Chrysler number was, uh, was interesting because they said they were going to save in U.S. dollars $992 million. <laughs> it was almost the same amount that they reported in their profit last quarter. I mean, this is a big deal for yeah. a lot of these is companies. That right? And that's, yeah, that's, that's, what, what? that's your point about, hey, we have so much money that we don't know what to do with it, so we can do a little bit of everything. It's just everything. Well, it is here, now an Italian concern. Italians tend to be very generous. <laughs> <laughs> really? That out. Yeah. Except really? everybody, right? Except there's you. Then there's the cheap uh, ones like me. I, but you know, the, it, what was very interesting, you mentioned something interesting yesterday, and it... Uh, one besides thing. The, <laughs> <laughs> besides, besides that. Yes. The but, uh, that this is a guy who could never get into Davos as a businessman. Yeah. I think it was him. And now, of course, he's being feeded there. And everyone wants to be with him, even those who, you know, snidely, you know, zing him or whatever. It is. It's well, an it's interesting a one, turn of events. It's also a 180 from his administration last year. If you remember, who was ascendant last year? Steve Bannon, uh, Navarro, Peter Navarro. Wilbur Ross, so Wilbur's here, Wilbur's in Davos, um, and who was not? Well, a year Gary, ago, he was announcing a travel ban. Yeah, but Gary, yeah. Com, Gary Cohn. And right. I could never have pictured right. him doing this. Yeah, but I'm going what to I'm Davos. Stephen Miller, he, right. Well, you're saying the globalists are winning. Well, he, they, are, they are ascended in the administration. We don't know if they're winning because he's now talking, he had Mnuchin yesterday talking down the dollar. Right. And, and, and Wilbur talking up a trade war. So, you know, we don't know how it's going to work out in policy. Maybe it's just all going to be rhetoric. But it seems like the globalists are winning. The, 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 the sort of isolationist nationalists like Steve, and Steve is gone, bad. Right. They're losing. Uh, and, you know, the tax cuts are interesting. And here's the one thing I think we have to recognize about the tax cuts. Except for this network where you and I, Neil, repeatedly talked about how the corporate tax cut if it gets to 20, 20, 21 percent plus the deregulation, how that would be such a boon to business. The mainstream media downplayed it so much. Mm -hmm. what they, In fact, the, the, here's one thing the mainstream the media was right on, though. It was disproportionately tilted to these corporations. Yeah, but, but and, and, and I had nothing wrong no, with that. My point is they were... They but now they have this curse of riches, and they can't just give it to shareholders or raise right. But that's the point. The, the mainstream media just went off and just said, all these guys are going to do is you know, buy back stock. And yes, they're going to do some of that. But, you know, as you see, they have to put... They just can't do all buybacks. It's just impossible to oh, do. Oh, they're do, paying do, down How many buybacks? Not enough shares out there. Yeah, it's not enough <laughs> shares out there. I mean, right. I mean but factor that in then, Shelby. If, you, if we're looking at that, and again, these might be, you know, uh, outside the mainstream, certainly the, the, some of this activity, but it's not to 4 million Americans who are benefiting. Is it your sense that uh, right now that uh, we're going to see a lot more of this and even before the individual rate cuts kick in? or people see it in their checks, and this is going to goose the economy. I think we'll see it for a few reasons, and yes, the president can take credit for a strong economy. Uh, the strong economy is creating a tight labor market. So like I said, you're going to see this anyways, and this and the, so the windfall from tax reform 
boosts that, accelerates Here's, it, more companies are doing it. I think it's important to note that companies across the board are doing it. It's not just one sector. Right. right. Uh, but but also, I, I think that companies are also realizing that there is a lot of Bernie Sanders sentiment out there and companies do, th if, if people saw that their companies were making this much more money yeah, not and they didn't reap any of the benefits, right. there would be a backlash. Here's I mean, that one, still exists. Yeah, I don't question their motivation or what's triggering it. Here's, I'm just seeing it. But, just but I do think yeah, we'll see more way, of it. Yeah. But here's one fly in the ointment with the tax bill. In April, I am telling you, in five states, Upper middle class people are going to get hosed when they can't deduct their state and local taxes. Well, that'll come up next, next April. April. You sure it won't come this year? No. Okay. Right. So they got a reprieve. So they'll well, realize it, they're hosed no, after right. the it's midterms. Still, no, no, you're right. It's still coming, but it Doesn't will be. Story, it, right? The impact that, will be. That will be. By the way, when that happens, but it'll be after the midterms. So the Republicans can say, Charlie, we can just get through this. Year. Maybe. Uh, I mean, listen. You know, here's the one. What the Democrats are trying to do with this tax plan, you can see them angling. They're going after those Northeast uh, Re or California Republicans, right? Or saying, listen, they're part of the party. That screwed you in New Jersey, in California. So don't vote for Daryl. Well, that's why we've seen all those retirements, and that's why you can't vote for Daryl. I said. Well, yeah, that's, there a, are that's, ways why, that's one of the reasons that's, we've that's seen yeah. all those retirements. That, that could yeah. lose the House for the, for the could, Republicans. Be close. I think just the opposite. I think it'll it'll keep it. When Maybe you when you look at this, what do people tell you that the, there is well, a delayed yeah. effect user tax? But so much of this is instantaneous. In other words. It's not being brought in in stages. I mean, obviously, I don't know, but I think one thing that's interesting, I was talking to this uh, pollster the other day about the president's approval rating. This may have been last week. And it says, I said, well, what level does the president need to get to where the Democrats would say, oh, you know what, we could be in tr some trouble here. And this person said, you know, if he gets to 45, that's about right for him because but he's, he's never going to be the most, that was my point. In the Fox poll last night, that's where he is. He's at 45. So this is a president that doesn't necessarily need to be, and never is going to be, the most popular guy in the world. This is never going to be George. I think he kind of relishes that. That's fine. He's, but like he's never going to be. Yeah, he exactly. relishes viewers. Yeah, like I mean, Gasparino's never getting 80% approval either. No. So either I, it's I, he doesn't, doesn't But the point is he doesn't, doesn't need to. But the midterms are not going so, to be normal in a sense that we're seeing know. this huge swell of African Americans coming out to special elections and to elections we never see. Does that win out? on the impact of the it, I mean, it honestly, I yeah. think a lot of it depends on what the Especially president says in the next year. Stuff See, that's, that's where on. the president approval rating matters. It could matter, yes. Yeah, because if you... It, but I, I think it's interesting... That you, made, you made the point the other day, is like, he, he has to get some bump out of the economy. And he we, needs and, it. And, and, but, but he's getting it now, right? That's but it would point. be so yeah. easy yeah. to continue yeah. having his approval rating move up. He just has to stop tweeting crazy things and well, saying, offen making offensive comments. And yeah, I, if you I do think a, a lot of this would... We've said that no, to right. Connell for years. The economy years, would yeah. speak for itself. Delete the Twitter account. Delete I said yeah. an offensive thing yesterday about... Uh, it wasn't quite offensive. No, it it's... Like, we we uh, know you, you and get used to it. <laughs> but it wasn't offensive. Only, I, used, no, I said no, no. BS. Yeah, you, you, you and the president are the only people that would revisit a comment. You know what's Why would you just let it lie? Some of our viewers are so smart, <laughs> they equated me saying BS to Trump saying the blank yes. wall. I wrote, I wrote that. I wrote that. <laughs> it's, I it's, it's, very, it's a very sophisticated You know, guys, let me ask you. know, one thing a president will try to do, and one of the things, and you mentioned, I think, about the, the, the European business leaders he's yeah. meeting with tonight, I think that's the most significant of all the powwows he's having in this brief trip to Davos, because they're interested in expanding their investments right. in the United States. So if I'm Angela Merkel or Macron or any of these guys, Macron? I'm beginning to think, well, wait a minute, this, this president who we dismissed, a boat boat, he's stealing our thunder here. Uh, well, already the IMF has said at this same gathering, this is going to increase, I think they said, a two-tenths of a percent GDP output. I mean, that's a good point. And that, that could be concern them, that this crazy guy <laughs> they snickered at, whatever you think of Donald sure. Trump, is now stealing their business. Hundred percent. So these, um, you know, we've seen it the last couple of days in the comments that have come out of Davos, essentially from not only European but all business leaders in general. Is essentially, hey, we may not love this guy, we may not like a lot of the things that he said, is particularly on social issues, but he's making us more money. The president said he's going to make a, a case, and it'll be interesting to see what the tone is of his speech tomorrow morning our time. But he's going to make a case that, hey, things are better in the United States. Bring your money in here, and I do think it's not noteworthy that why, the market why? has not freaked out the last couple of days about with all, the trade with all due respect, No, it did not. It which did I not. think is interesting. Why, good why would you bring your money in here if, if we have a weak dollar? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think the, pe the thing <laughs> well, that is... No sense. A lot of these guys are setting up factories here. I'm just saying that they will stop doing that if you talk, if you have a weak right. dollar policy because they get less of their money back when they convert it. Uh, Can you buy... Do, do any of you What's buy that problem? argument knows that, what the that is. it will lead... It, it's now putting social estates uh, sort of with their backs up against the wall. They've got to do something to encourage... 
activity in their neck of the woods. Yes. I mean, I, I don't think that European economies are necessarily in trouble, but I do, th no, I do uh, think everybody is global. And their markets have outperformed well ours so far this year. So right. I don't minimize that. But I love the fact that you had a French Canadian accent with Macron. Macron! <laughs> That's not French French. That's not Parisian French. He is going to be the beneficiary of our first state. Look at you. You know, Macron's for a lower corporate tax, too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, listen, let, let's be real clear here, though. I, There's I mean, something in the water here, guys. This is Trump's economic policies are great, but let's re, re, just here remember, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to annoy the Trumpkins out there. It's what every generic Republican would have done. Every one of them. Minus yeah. the crazy trade stuff. Every yeah. one of them. Okay, yes. we'll see that, Mr. Schmeich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, he yeah. also made a quick comment yesterday. Did you catch that one? That if Hillary Clinton had been elected, he didn't mention her.